Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Today we're doing a tutorial of the UNSC Wolverine in 2 to 1 scale. This is going to be the last uh, Halo vehicle in this set of six, which were recreations of the original six uh, videos that I did on the channel. And the Wolverine was number six in the uh, in the series, and uh, it's going to be the last one for this set. I did them all in a row, just so that you can... If you go and sort my videos from uh, newest to oldest, you'll see the six as they are now. And then uh, if you sort them from oldest to newest on my videos page, uh, you'll see them pretty much in the same uh, thing. I think they're <laughs> they're in a different order because uh, of the way I uploaded them. I started with the Scorpion uh, and ended up with the Wolverine. Uh, and the way that YouTube organizes it, it's going to be the other way around. It's going to be Wolverine then Scorpion, I think, if you sort by uh, newest first. But yeah, it's just the idea. It's it's the, uh, the, the idea that counts and that matters really. Uh, but yeah, it's been nice doing this, just revisiting some uh, old vehicles, redoing them, the same order I did last time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. And obviously you can see the progression of the builds from 2013-14 to now, it's, it's pretty mad. Uh, and we did a couple of them in different colour schemes, so the Scorpion was in a green instead of the grey that it was in last time. The Cobra was in a black colour scheme, or dark grey, sorry, instead of, uh, instead of the... I think I did it in green in the original series. Uh, now it, it's grey. Um, and then the Wolverine obviously is blue. I think in the original it was uh, green or, or grey, one of the two. Uh, I did build a lot of stuff in grey to begin with for some reason. I don't, I don't know exactly why I did that, um, but I did. But yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, th definitely the best version of the Wolverine so far. Um, I've had a lot of trouble building this in the past. Like, I'd do one really good version, and then the next one to come along, I, I think at the time would be better, but then it turns out afterwards that it was not. It was really inaccurate or something. But in terms of the tutorial, this one is not too hard, and it's not the biggest Wolverine we've done, I don't think. Um, I think I did one similar size to this, which was just a bit more chunky. Uh, this one is pretty much perfect. This is as close as you're going to get to a 2 to 1 scale perfect uh, representation of a Wolverine. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't think this video is going to take very long, that's why I'm giving it a longer intro. I don't usually do this, but this time I am. Uh, one thing with the build, uh, if you are playing survival, you'll need to uh, do a little a little edit or something. Um, here, there's a barrier block to make this grenade launcher sort of setup. It's literally the only way I could figure out how to do it, um, was to just add a barrier block and do another lever. The only other thing you can do is just leave off this one lever here and you just have a really short grenade launcher just by having that one lever. Uh, so yeah, if you can't access barrier blocks, that's the, the one thing you can do really. So yeah, it's an asymmetrical build, so we will be doing the full thing on camera I think this time around. Same with the Locust, um, but don't take that as we'll do everything on camera for every build uh, from now on because we definitely won't uh, for you people who uh, complain about copying over. Anyway, on to layer one, so yeah, enjoy. All right, so starting out with the first layer, we're gonna take uh, blue concrete. We don't need that until later, but it's the main color for this build, so I thought I'd keep it anyway. Uh, Science terracotta, chiseled stone brick, stone brick stairs, sandstone stairs, uh, stone brick slab, stone slab, iron trap door, and cobblestone wall. We're gonna start by doing two cyan there, skip five, and do two there. Uh, and then do stone brick stairs on either side of it, like so. Interesting. There we go. So yeah, five between and then uh, upside down stone brick stairs on either side. And then you're going to do uh, a gap of five. And you know what, I'm going to use blue concrete here just to be confusing. That's my temporary block. Two upside down st uh, sandstone stairs are going to go next to it like that. You can delete that now. Then a chiseled stone brick, two cobblestone walls, another chiseled there. And then you're going to do a stone slab, stone brick, stone, stone brick. And then two top half stone slabs and then two top half iron trap doors do the same thing on this side um so one and two just copy it over essentially i did that in the wrong order uh, so that 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 and that two there and then two there and yeah once you've done that that is literally it for the first layer so let's move on to layer two so yeah Okay, so for layer two, I've just replaced the blue concrete because we do need grey concrete, but we also need every single other material uh, as well soon. So, yeah, it's just a bit of a mess, really. 
We're going to start over here with a, a little that shape with cyan and then a chisel stone brick in the middle, like that. That's going to be the uh, center point of the wheel, essentially. And uh, I was going to say while we're here, we could finish it off, but I'm not going to be confusing. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it for now. Take cobblestone walls and do one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then take a temporary block and just put it there and there. And take a fence gate and just going to do two there like so. Uh, with your fence gates. Okay. We'll grab your stone slabs and do one, two, and three top half ones. And then grey concrete, one there. Diagonal. Diagonal. And then do three, three, and then one, two, three in the center. Like that. Okay. Iron trap door there and there. Two top half stone brick slabs on either side. And then uh, stone brick stairs facing outwards on either side. Just like that. Okay. Uh, I just realized that the uh, the kind of tusks on the Wolverine actually connect to the wheels and not the body on this. Um, it's not a big deal, um, but it just looks funny. Because you can't really see it from any angle, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess if you want, if you really want to have it uh, kind of more, not the microphone there, sorry, more accurate, have that one be a stair instead. Doesn't really matter though because it still connects to the wheels here. So uh, yeah, it's up to you. I'm going to leave it like that because I'm, I'm not going to go back and change it again. But yeah, just to uh, say that it, it isn't entirely accurate in that sense. But, you know, sometimes building limitations cause this. Two stairs there and then a corner one there like so. Same again. There. And you can do th uh, three, three, uh, three and three. So a four by three with uh, grey concrete. And then three upside down stairs here. And then we'll uh, do something else in a minute. Uh, we need fence gates, but we'll uh, do that after. Do a cobblestone wall there and there. Same again on the other side. Like that. Then do an upside down stair there and there. Like that. And then cyan, two cyan, one cyan there. Three, uh, sorry, two stone brick stairs upside down. And then you need two full stone brick blocks, but I'm going to use slabs just to uh, make that easier. And there we are. Uh, grab your fence gates now. You're going to put a temporary block here and here. And then just grab those and do one there, one there, flip them. Like that. Pretty simple. Uh, and then I think that's everything for this layer. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think that's everything. On to layer three. Right, so for layer three, finish off these wheels. Just do two there. Two stairs on either side. Like so. And then you're going to take your cobblestone walls again. Do one there, one there. And then grab a light grey carpet. You only need this once, I think. That's going to go there and there, like so. Okay. With your cyan, you're just going to do uh, three here, three here. And then three cobblestone walls on the front. Like that. And then just do an upside down stair. Uh, I think it's upside down. Yeah, it is upside down, but I think it's sideways. So like that. Okay. Then you do need your uh, blue concrete now. Because we're going to do a fair bit of that in, the, in this layer. So you're going to do uh, three there. Sorry, not there. There. And there. And this is where the asymmetrical part kicks in. So uh, we'll do that bit afterwards once we've done the rest of the layer. Okay. Uh, upside down stair facing outwards there and there. And then you're going to take your grey concrete and do three here. One cyan there. Stone brick stairs facing outwards. Grey concrete you're going to do one, two, three, four, five. On both sides. And then just two there. And then take a stone brick stairs, put it there. And then take a door. And you're going to put that there. And that's a little driver's seat here. I uh, don't do that in many of my vehicles, but uh, the Wolverine has a see-through cockpit, so I thought I would on this one. So yeah, <laughs> nice little uh, nice little thing on there. Sandstone stairs, one and two there, same thing again on that side. And then 
you need to do two stone blocks full, two uh, stone slabs full, and then same thing again, one there like that, and then three blue concrete, and then stairs, one, two, and then the third one, corners like that. Same thing again here. One, two, and corner. And then last thing for this bit, just grab a grey carpet. And do two there, and two there. So yeah. Uh, lastly, for the main body, you're going to do a 3x3 three three with your blue concrete. And then two upside down stairs here. And two here as well. Okay. Uh, so now we do the asymmetrical part. It's just three blue concrete there on the left hand side and then three cobblestone walls as well. So you should end up with that. And yeah, once you have done that, that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to layer four. So yeah. All right, so until the next layer, uh, we're just going to take stone slabs and do one there and there. Then blue concrete, you're going to do one, two, and three in a corner like so. Stone bricks there facing backwards and two facing forwards like that. Okay stone slab just there and then three cyan in the middle and we'll just copy this over real quick uh, two and one there but yeah next up grab your stone brick stairs one two three and then these ones are gonna corner around like that they shouldn't uh, turn into corner blocks or anything you're just gonna do uh, three on either side like that Okay, then grab your blue concrete and you're going to do one, two, three, four behind it on either side. Then do uh, a gap of one and do two blue concrete there with a stone bricks there facing the back. Okay. Uh, next up, grab your stone bricks stairs again. You're going to do two there, two there facing outwards and grab a lever. Just throw it on the ground. And <laughs> one there. And one there. Those are the, uh, the driver's kind of control panel things. He's not got a steering wheel. Um, but he's got levers. So that's that's all that matters really, isn't it? Iron trap door there as well. Just to uh, cap that block off. Uh, next up, you're going to take your cyan terracotta. And you're going to do one, two, and three there. One there, and then two stone brick slabs on either side, with a cobblestone wall here. And then grab a blue carpet, and just do one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Stone slab there, two stone brick stairs on either side. Two stone slabs on either side of that. Iron trap door is going to go just uh, there and there. Two more stone slabs here, two more there. And then grab your uh, sandstone stairs, do two here, and two here like that. And then just on the left hand side only again, two blue concrete, stone brick stair there, and two, uh, not cobblestone walls this time actually, iron bars like that. And that's going to do it for that layer, so let's move on, oh actually no it's not, <laughs> three stone brick slabs there and three grey carpets. Now that's everything. Yeah. Alright, onto uh, layer one, two, three, four, five. Onto layer five. Alright, so for layer five, we're gonna go to these uh kind of front things over the wheels and do a blue carpet there and there. And you can throw that away. Then do three stone slabs. Then you're gonna grab your light blue glass. This is full block. Or whatever color glass you want. Uh, you may not even use glass if you want the canopy to, uh, to be uh, non-see-through. I forgot what the word for that is. Is it opaque? I think it might be. And then just do uh, a 2 by 3 with the blue glass and then one on either side. Then three cyan terracotta there. And three upside down stairs. And just a cobblestone wall there. Cyan there. Cobblestone wall there. Okay. Lastly, stone brick slabs one and two, one and two, and this is where you put the uh, the lever thing on. So I'm gonna do mine the way I did before. Uh, I almost typed my old name then. 
been a while. So essentially like that. So you creative players can do it. You may be able to do it in survival if you have commands. But yeah. You just do a slash give and then you name. Not name, name, and then barrier just works. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you don't know how to get a barrier block, that's how you do it. Um, so yeah, last thing, just grab a temporary block. I'm just gonna use blue concrete for now. No, actually gray. So three there, three there, and then a top half stone slab on either side and delete those three. So yeah, it should be uh, in line with that. So yeah, onto uh, layer six. So for layer six, you're gonna need a light gray carpet and you're gonna do three there like that. And then two stone slabs on either side with two stone brick slabs in the middle. And then three iron trap doors are gonna go there like that. Leave a gap of uh, one and do a cobblestone wall there. One uh, cyan and then another cobblestone wall here. And leave a gap of two. And I guess just do a, just do four in total with your blue concrete. Delete the first three, and then uh, do one, two, three, four there. And on the other side, same thing again. They should end up with that. Oh yeah. Once you've done that, uh, grab your stairs. And do five upside down ones there. Same thing again on the other side. And then grab a wooden trap door, do one there, flip it, one there, flip it, like so. And yeah, that's it for layer six, was it? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Layer six on to layer seven. We're pretty much done, though. So yeah. So for this one, you're just going to grab your stone brick stairs, do one there, leave two, and do two again. Same thing again. Then grab sandstone stair. And you're going to do two of those there and two of those there with five blue concrete in the middle and wooden trap door on the blue concrete on the front just on the front only then in the center just do another cyan here with a cobblestone wall not on three of the sides not on the front one so just like that then do a stone brick stairs facing towards that and that should join up with the uh, the pods on the side now and then the uh, other ones are going to be upside down ones like that then for the next layer we can finish the build off right now which is good oh i didn't mean to get rid of the wooden trap door damn it uh you're gonna do two sandstone stairs on either side same thing again with the stairs here uh five blue again and then wooden trap doors on either side throw that away now two stone slabs there two stone slabs there and then just grab a skeleton skull can't do any build nowadays with that skeleton skull. You're just gonna put that there in the middle. And uh, with that, that literally finishes off the Wolverine. Very simple tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the six tutorials for the Halo series. Uh, it may be a little while before the next Halo tutorial, but we have got some showcases coming up very soon that I know you'll enjoy. Um, definitely hoping they'll be a big hit because they are pretty mad. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now what they are. You know one of them is going to be the Paris class frigate in one to one scale. Um, so yeah, that's coming. That's going to have a, a big showcase video uh, using the, the nice fancy uh, camera tricks and stuff. Uh, also, the... Uh, you know what? I never know how to say this because I've heard it pronounced multiple ways, but the Sh uh, Charon class, or is it Karen class frigate? I don't know exactly how to say it. If someone could tell me how to say it, that'd be good. Um, that frigate is currently in the process of a, a not a redesign but it is getting a, a, a big update so that will be coming in a, a similar showcase video uh sort of a remake of the original showcase video i did that one was quite unprofessional this one will hopefully be in a in a more professional laid out format so yeah thank you for watching guys uh, my voice is dead because i did two videos today um so yeah anyway see you soon and we will have more Star Wars content immediately after. So, yeah. Alright, I'd just like to give a big thanks to my current Patreon supporters of the channel. 
The names are being displayed right now on the screen, so massive credits to them for making this video possible. Make sure to check out my Patreon page in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel, and you also receive a neat goodie bag every month along with other rewards for the higher tiers. So yeah, thank you.